Okay, we got out of one. Well, this is unusual. It's not often you reach out to contact me directly, Dark Knight. I'll not take up more of your time than necessary. I have a request of a delicate nature. The Blood Rose Legion is deployed in Florum. If this favor poses no conflict to my mission, I'll consider it. The Vestal of Wind has entered Florum. We're certain of it. Ah. Hence the news I just received, that Victoria and Victor will be joining us there. I see. The only problem is that Idea is accompanying her. Accompanying the Vestal? She's been deceived, seduced by that witch's words. I tried to talk some sense into her, but... The two of you are practically sisters. Perhaps she'll listen to you, if not me. Will you do this? <laughs> That girl has caused you no end of grief over the years. Very well. I shall do all I can. But, should my sisters make contact first? Best you gave up on her. I'm afraid even I can scarcely keep these two in check any longer. I... I understand. Girls, you heard him. You will continue your current mission as ordered. The Vestal may attack at any moment. Stay vigilant. Yes, sister.
Is it, uh, is it just me, or are there awfully few men around? Lorem is called the Land of Radiant Flowers for a reason. All its residents are female. What? A whole nation of women, you say? And if a man comes here, what do they do to him? You needn't worry. Men cannot take up residence, but no law bars them from visiting. You're red as a beast, Tiz. Are you blushing? Oh no, I just... Hearing it's all ladies here, I just got a little nervous is all. <laughs> That's adorable! Uh, hey! I just didn't know, all right? Don't tease me. Look here, Tiz. My journal describes this place in crisp detail. True to the old teachings, Florum's women live in chaste humility, in coexistence with the spirits of nature. Devout crystallists, they reject war and conflict, instead choosing lives of peaceful reflection. Hear that? A land of maidens, pure and modest, fit to shame the flowers of the field. Angels all. Give or take those two. Feast your eyes! Well, I finally had it dyed! Brightest color I've seen yet! Well, have you seen this? A spirit hairpin! My coin purse is empty, but come on! Worth it! Pure and, well, maybe not so much modest. But surely they seek external beauty to match their... <gasps> cool. What's wrong? Oh, that's cruel. She's soaking wet. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. I was dazed by your hideous hair and my hand slipped. <laughs> It's a flyer. 47th annual Sacred Flower Festival, it says. Ah, the yearly competition to decide the most beautiful flower in Florum. Lovely! A beauty contest. Now I'll never shut up. But that isn't right. The Sacred Flower Festival is a day of solemn observance of the crystallist faith. What's more, this place is different. Its streets were not so overrun with glamour and idle pleasure. I worry for Olivia as well. Let us go to speak with Florum's matriarch at once.
got little spells. Pure of mind and body, those were Florum's ways. Emphasis on were, I fear. Now the girls war over who can ornament herself the loudest. They spend their days staring into mirrors, while nature's beauty is lost to them. Their neglect has turned Florum's lands to wastes. Her beauty is all but lost. How has this happened? At some point, there emerged the notion that prosperity was limited only to the most beautiful. But you guide this land's laws, Lady Matriarch. Did you notice no change? Not until it was complete, I fear. It truly was an insidious thing. And now, I am left to curse my powerlessness to reverse this corrosive tide. I join you in despair, Lady Matriarch. My pure and... Going to cut you off there, Ringabel. Lady Matriarch, I wish to speak with the Vestal of Water. Is Olivia at the temple? Ah, oh, of course. The two of you were so inseparable as girls. You scarce passed a day apart. Seems almost yesterday that fond memories of fairer times. But I fear the Vestal of Water is in hiding. Even I cannot say where she makes her hermitage. No. Then how does the Temple of Water fare? It suffers for the absence of its mistress and her acolytes. These months have seen it go ragged. Agnes. It may still hold some clue. Why don't we begin there? Yes, yes, of course. already surrounds the crystal. The same as that I placed upon the crystal of wind. Then, 
Does that mean Olivia already awakened this one? It looks more like the shield was put up to stop the dark from swallowing the crystal entirely. The water vessel is the only one who could have created it. And now, only she can remove it. She must have sensed what was happening sooner than I. She managed this just before the crystal was lost. And then she hid. I can't say what her reasons were, but she handled the situation brilliantly. I'm impressed. There's no risk of the crystal being swallowed up like this, or of any humans meddling with it. The fact that her shield stands is proof Olivia lives. Isn't it, Ari? Uh-huh. Wherever she is, she's doing fine. That's an enormous relief. So that means... we need to find her if we want to awaken the water crystal. Right? That's the best way, certainly. But not the only one. These shields can only be invoked by the vestals of fire, water, wind, and earth, and dismissed by the same. But that's not to say that the water vestal's shield can only be dismissed by the water vestal. You should be able to get past your shield on, yes? And awaken the water crystal, too! Is that true? Yes, there are two such cases written of in the Crystallist scriptures. I think you should do it! Here and now, while we have the chance! The whole world could fall into shadow if we don't hurry! We can search for Olivia as soon as we're done. I cannot. If the water crystal is to be awakened, it ought to be at Olivia's hands. The rite of awakening has been performed only a handful of times in the history of the crystal orthodoxy. It's only right that Olivia be the one to release the prayers of the lineage of water vestals. Well, yes, but we don't know where she is. Where do we even start looking? Let us return and speak with the matriarch again. Forgive me if I'm not saying much. I'm kind of like out of it trying to at least get the, this water temple done. Not just empty, but utterly abandoned, you say? Still, it pains me to say I haven't a clue where the Vestal of Water may be. Indeed, I'd hope that might be something you could tell me on your return from the temple. I am sorry. Then we're at an impasse. What drove her into hiding to begin with? 
Were the Eternian forces after her? If they wanted Anyas, it stands to reason. Hmm. Who was sent here to Florum? The Blood Rose Legion! Do we go pick a fight? I am a wanted criminal, and you a traitor. We could be marching to our own executions. If I may, this seems like a job for my journal, hmm? Let's see what hits it can offer, hmm? I'm not certain this is terribly relevant, but I found a curious passage. What does it say? Anything... Promise you won't get mad. <laughs> the Wind Vestal entered the Sacred Flower Festival. And it ends there. What? Wait, what? Give it up, ring a bell. There's no way she's entering some tawdry pageant. Let me see that. Huh. Well, I'll be. It really does say that. <sighs> Agnes? Hello? Just because it says something in Ringabel's book doesn't mean you're forced to play along if you don't. No, I'll do it. What? Are you serious? Really? Though the celebration has changed, the festival remains Florum's most important ritual, does it not? Just so. It was a time of prayer for the year to come, for a bountiful harvest and freedom from illness or harm. One girl was chosen for her purity of heart to serve as flower maiden to the next year's festival. She would join the spirits in nurturing Florence flowers. It was an honor and a great responsibility. But recent years have seen it become a hollow shell. They compete by skin deep beauty alone. Yet it still remains an important event, attended by all in Florum. If I enter, Olivia will know I've come to seek her out. Aha! Then we won't have to look for her because she'll find us! It's dangerous. That's a lot of attention you'll be calling to yourself. I understand the risk. But if it means I am able to see Olivia, I will enter. Then, I'll help however I can. I'm not certain a man would get far in the competition, Tiz. I... Uh, didn't say I would enter! This is all so roundabout! Are we really doing this? I still say Awakening the Crystal should come first. Are you listening? Hey! Eri, given the tasks that lie ahead, I think enlisting the aid of the other Vestals must come first. I guess, but still... So, do you have any idea of how the new Sacred Flower Festival even works, Agnes? I do not. Given all the changes here, the mind boggles. Well, we did pick up that flyer. Let's have a look. Oh! Entrants will flaunt their beauty on the stage for all to see, it says. Beauty contest. Plain and simple, then. From the sound of it, competition will be fierce. I've no need to win. I need only alert Olivia to my presence. But, and I say this with love, you're rather plain, dear. You could get lost in the sea of color. Uh, am I? Then what do you propose? Luckily, the potential here is top-notch. Wouldn't you say it is? Huh? Why are you asking me? <laughs> Look at him blush! You're a gemstone in the rough, I guess. That's my professional opinion. Then tell me, what must I do? Hmm. I suppose step one is studying up on the trends here in Florin. Hmm. Alright, I'll get to this another time. I'm gonna end it right here because uh, I I'm fighting my sleep. So it's good that we're getting back to bravely default. I, I do plan on finishing this game before the month is over. Um, yeah, we're here now. Boom. So.